Hey guys, it's Will here and welcome to the Fulham Let's Play series here on Controller Ball and Football Manager 2018. This is the first episode and today we've got a game against Crystal Palace in the league at Selhurst Park. It is the first game of the season. Should we take a look at the new transfers? So, the budget was very, very small. We only had five million in the bank. Uh, managed to bring in one player, Nick Powers, on the transfer list for 2.9 million. We bought him for 2.6. He's got a, a decent little bit of potential for what we put, put him for. And um, he's only going to be back up for this season, but if he develops into anywhere near his potential, he'll definitely be a starter in the future. Most notable attributes are the 14 vision. 14 passing, 14 technique, 14 first. He's just a real rounded player that can play deep line playmaker, which fits the system that we are playing. In terms of how the preseason went, we had four preseason friendlies, drew the first two, despite having more possession and more shots. Then, in the next two matches, we won in both scoring four goals, obviously against pretty trash teams. First game of the league against Palace. Good, good team. Um, in terms of tactics that we're going to be using for this game, we're going to be using the four three three, uh, the four three that I'm made. Um, back four of Setting on Morton, Chambers, Christie, three centimeters of Seri, Johansson, Kearney, and the front three of Scherler, Fonte, and Vieto. Um, oh, Scherler's on loan. I didn't know Scherler was on loan. Sorry. Um, now, uh, the reason why we're not playing Kamara, and uh, not Kamara, Cabano, out there, is because if you play him here, it, the role ability is only two, whereas if we play Vieto there, it's three. Ideally, I want Vieto up front, but the, the overall ability improves, obviously. Also, Cabano played in that match, he got two goals. You'll probably see him come off the bench. In terms of outgoings, actually, we haven't been able to shift anyone on that wage budget. It's going to be OCDs. So I'm just going to fix. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Fix that quickly. Um, terms out. Obviously, none. Over <sighs> chance percent. There's no outs, but there is interest in two players that go by the name of Kevin McDonald, who's wanted by Championship teams, and Odoi, who are looking to move on as well. Who's wanted by Bristol City Mizra. So the key players in this team by value. Jean Miguel Serio obviously brought in, in real life. I mean he's a great player. Um he does he's a brilliant deep line playmaker. He can play Mazala as well. He just can literally do anything. He can also play here. He's literally a brilliant centre midfielder. First of all, he's gonna be the key man. That's who we build the team around, really. Sergio Rico on loan, Andre Sherry, they're gonna be big, big players. Fabri, now who should I start? Fabri or Sergio Rico? Leave a comment down below uh, and then we've got the the main man the guy who is Fulham's I don't know how you describe it next gen hope or something um yeah he's a he's he's starting every game absolutely for sure I'm gonna try and train him as a wing back um funny enough he can he can play there he can play here and here but he can't play here which is actually really annoying but you know I'm expecting offers in the future, and for this series, we're going to try and get it. We're going to try and complete two seasons, which is going to be good. So, that's going to be the end of this intro. Long winded intro. I know we have to get everything out of the way. Oh, yeah, in terms of competitions, the board are looking at us to avoid relegation, which I'm actually going to try and get mid table because I think we have a really good team. We predict, I think we're predicted to finish 19th. Which I just don't think is very accurate. I think we have a, I think we have a decent team, and yeah, I will see you for the match against Crystal Palace. So first game of the day is going to be Crystal Palace away from home. You know our team went through it. Their team um, back four forty three one. Uh, most notably player got Wilfred Zaha. Obviously, new sign Jordan and I in real life. Kuate, Max, oh Max May is good. Uh, Sacco. The defence is, this side of the defence is, I think, is much weaker than this side. He, Riedewald isn't that, is he quick? I don't know if he's quick. They've got a decent team. 
But I think we can. I think we can do something this match. Um, what are we gonna tell them? Uh, I know when to. Yeah, that. That normally. And then obviously the classic. I've got faith in you. And yeah, first game of the day. Let's see how we get on. Rufonte. Oh man, Johansson. Uh, the uh, graphics quality is low for this match. But I want to see um in terms of the recording side how um my computer deals with the recording and playing film manager on it. It's not the most powerful. Uh, Johansson nicks it. Come on, Kearney, Scherler, Tom Kearney, Andre Scherler, one of the main mans. Rory Fonte gives it to Hansen. Come on, no Hansen. Can we get that ball back in? Vieto, that's what a goal. And that's 1 0 to Fulham. That's a brilliant piece of play. That's what we like to see. Carving them apart. That's not even there. Sit down, Crystal Palace, man. In real life, Crystal Palace actually won this 2-0. Um, so we'll see how we <laughs> that was that was that was a really, really nice work goal. And we're actually doing pretty well for away from home for the first game of the season. Six per possession. But the idea of the whole tactic is to keep possession. Five shots of six, two on two. Who's gonna get this highlight? We start off with the ball. Rui Fonte. Tackled by Sahar, but he keep he carries on running. Rui Fonte into Johansson. Johansson, brilliant, brilliant player for a Mazala role. Johansson into Sherla. Sherla into Rui Fonte. Rui Fonte. That's an, I don't know if that was aimed for him, but it doesn't matter as long as we come away with a goal. And Luciano Varietto gets his second goal of the game. Ah, that was brilliant play as well. And we move up to second. You know, we're winning the league this season. I'm joking, but um, that was a really nicely well well goal. Wow. Well. I mean, that was a really nicely well worked goal. I know that uh, Fonte's pass what obviously wasn't aimed for Christie. I think it was your hands on the free kick. Fieto for a hat trick! Oh my goodness, this is absolutely insane! Oh my god, man! First position. I told you I win the league. I told you. I'm joking. All right. Ward now on the ball. Ward. Cross in. Sergio Rico collects it. Can we get a highlight off this? Sergio Rico into Alfie Mawson. Mawson to Chambers. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, get out. Fonte. Can we get the ball? We steal it. Rui Fonte. Oh, this is... Oh, man. This is, we're playing really well. 11 shots to 6 away from home. Come on. Oh, man. Yeah, I just hope that the um, the graphics looks good enough. Passionate. I mean, this is brilliant. Keep it up, lads. Start the second half. Ward. Oh, sorry. Tompkins. <sighs> I don't... Do you... F I, I mean, if we can keep a clean sheet 3-0, I think this game is almost wrapped up. If we get 60th minute... I'm going to make a sub. I think I'm going to take off. Um, Fonte. I don't know. I don't really want to take off anyone. But he's having a, the worst game. Seri. Tom Kenny. Can we get another? Come on. Oh, that was unlucky. Skims past the post. I mean, we're playing really well. The thing is, if we can play well against Crystal Palace, I think away from home as well. With 3-0. Obviously, it probably won't be that scoreline. Really well clears it. They've got to get their first highlight of the game. Sahar, their danger man, gives out to I Jordan Ayew. Oh, yeah, it's Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew skips pass for one. I think that was Sessi only skipped pass. They're getting in Benteke. He's a big lad and Sahar finishes. Oh, they brought on Benteke. That's going to be a little bit of a, a, a thing for us. We could lose the three at the back to stop that threat from Benteke. But they've got their wide players coming in. I think I think we want to keep out of four. Because it's working. We are going to make a substitution now. Um, Rui Fonte is going to come off for... Oh, I could bring on Mitrovic, actually. He's more of a direct option. Yeah, I think I might do that. Um, I'll play him as... Target man. Yeah, I'll play him as a target man. But we'll put... If we're playing him as a target man, we'll... Put uh, your hands on an attack, and we're going to bring on the new signing, Nick Powell. 
and um, he's going to play there. I think that's fine. I think I think that's how what we're going to go with just for these remaining ten minutes. Hopefully, we can close it out. I'm actually going to change it. We're going to go a bit more defensive. Um, actually, we're not going to go defensive. We're going to go on the counter. We're going to be a bit more structured. Let's change it a bit. Make sure we don't concede now. Um, a three one away from it was a brilliant result. We've got Spurs coming up next at home. That's going to be a a very saucy match. Um. Oh, um, and this I think I think I think we've got the win. Now yeah, we have seven seconds to go. This is I mean for an hour. Um, this is uh Tom Kenny. That was poor, but uh, that is a actually ridiculous. That is amazing. I, I mean, first game of the season. That was really special. Tell it to the boys. We're gonna go into the, the uh, press conference and we'll tell the media to shut up about us getting relegated. All right. Uh, terrific performance, you think, Lucero? Yeah. I mean, he's... Oh, I've got to praise him, actually. Just fair for the goal. Yeah, you're amazing, mate. Uh, outcome of the match. Early goal is always a bonus. What do you make of the performance? I mean, it. it was brilliant. All right. So, after that match, we are in second behind West Ham. Uh, other teams getting on. Arsenal lost to Spurs, who were playing next. Okay, how how do they line up? Did they line up with the three at the back? Or did they line up with the, the four? They line up with the four. I mean, that is a strong team, despite them not doing any business. And they transfer. They still a strong team. I think they were trying to get Jack Grealish. Didn't get. Oh wow. Oh no, they didn't. They didn't use Spurs. They beat Huddersfield one 0 Okay. Well, anyway, to beat Bayern Munich. Okay. Well, they're a tough team. I'll see you. For that match. So, after an impressive opening day victory against Crystal Palace. For them now go against Spurs. I accidentally just um, skipped past the Spurs team. So, I'll just quickly go back. I'll go when I'm in the game. I'll, we can check the team. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, after an impressive victory, can we carry on our form? Their team is Harry Kane. Who's the 20? Dele Alli? Yeah. Dele Alli. Okay, can't see the team. I don't. I thought I was thinking about going on counter, but I've left it. I left the tactical. It is Rufonte. He's charging at them. I took away Ericsson, Deli Ali. Oh no! When they come forward, you just have a feeling they're gonna score. Lucas Moura. He, he dribbles past one Deli Ali. That's one nil. That's one nil to Spurs. Oh, I don't. I don't know what. We're a bit high. Our line. Okay, so Lucas Moura, son. Dyer, Eriksson in centre mid. Sherlock now. Can we get an equaliser? No. They win the ball back again. Kane. He sees Deli Alley. Watch Deli Alley, please. Seri. Dyer. Uh, oh, what a save. And Christy. Oh, man. It's over. This has been a very nervy opening from the lads. Johansson gives out to a Spurs to. I think it's going to be the end of the highlight. Yeah, it is. I mean, they've got a really strong team. Just look at it now and pause it so we can check it out. Kane, Son, Ali, Lucas, Dyer, Eriksson in centre mid. But obviously, they're star player. Apart from Kane, Ali, and the whole rest of the team. Davis, Vertonghen, Alderweireld, Aurier, and Lloris. I mean, it's a pretty overpowered team, even without signs. And the bench: Davison, Sanchez, Trippier, Lamella. Onimers mm, for their team. He's a really good young stepper for their team. Levente, mm, Harry rates really good. So you know it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but it's a good job we're only one 0 down after say four minutes. Could have been more. Alderweireld to Vertonghen. Can we chase down this defense? Will they make a mistake? No, they won't. They put a strike ball. A long ball, sorry, up into Kane. Pochettino's men attacking us really nicely as Kane's through. And he doesn't miss them chances. And he makes it 2-0 to Spurs after 35 minutes. Uh, we're going to have to get a little... I mean, it's not been good. They've had two clear-cut chances and they've scored both. The fact that they've been able to get those clear-cut chances is the thing. I mean, they are Spurs. It's, more, it's mainly been the long balls over the top. And because they've got brilliant centre-backs, they could just... They can just pass it wherever they want, really. Don't let them score again. If they score again, we've got some things to can think about. Sergio, can we clear the ball, please? Nice. Out to Vieto. 
got a hat-trick last game. Can he produce something? No, he can't be. Winterbull bat. That's a lovely play. Feeling number, feeling your Hansen. Is that your Hansen there? But, oh, he went for it himself. Don't know how I feel about that. Uh, <laughs> should have found any, found any Hansen. Seri. Seri. He's tackled. Deli Ali. Give him a red. That's a red. Yes. And we're back in the game. Come on. Come on. Can we, can we score this free, free kick? Not even going to show us the highlight. Okay, we're back in the game. Come on. I mean, they haven't really dominated, have they? It's been more clinical. I'm happy with it. Keep it going. There's a man down. Get that in their heads. I've got faith in them. Let's send them back out there. Okay, they're a man down. Okay, they've not got a cam, which means they've got no... They've been, Harry Kane, hopefully he's isolated. They're probably going to play a little bit wider. Which shoots us. Luciano Vietto is playing an awful match. Tom Kearney. I wanted to set on. Let's attack them in these areas. Johansson. They're probably going to find a bit more space now. Because Deli Ali isn't playing. Schurler. Tom Kearney also finding more space. Rui Fonte. Into Luciano Vietto. Swing it in. Johansson's there. Andre Schurler for his first goal for the club. Fonte scores. And we're right back in it. I bet the crowd's going nuts. We've had more shots at them. That was a, oh my goodness. We're one. We're 1-0 back in the game. I mean, it's just amazing. Come on. Luciano Vieto's getting subbed off right now um, for Cavano. He's going to play the same role. He's got a bit more pace, I believe. I don't know. Um, it's Stefan Johansson. He's got a yellow card. You've got to be careful. Let's, let's encourage the team. I don't know if it does anything this, but gets you more into it. Seri swings the ball in. That's off his head. Rui Fonte's there. Penalty. No. He's injured. He's got to come off. I don't want to get him at I don't want to have him wrist for an injury. Mitrovic coming on. He's coming on as a target man. The new signing for Fulham in real life. And obviously in the game. 76, 70, if it gets to 80 and we haven't got a highlight, we have got a highlight. Is it going to come for Spurs or Fulham? Davies, it's going to come for Spurs. And Harry Kane, if he scores this his game, he misses over the bar. We're going to attempt to attack the right. That is that is a massive gap that Spurs have left. Is it still there? Let me see. X, 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 X. No. Wait, what? Yeah, they've got a gap on the right. Right, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going attacking. Very fluid. We're attacking the right. Get that off. Got to go a bit more direct. We've got to take risks. Um, we're not working into the box. We've got to, we've got to pump it in and exploit the right. I'm a much higher tempo. Um, we're going to be closing down much more. And we're going to attempt to get stuck in. Come on. <sighs> I mean, we haven't been outplayed. And we are Fulham. But, if we want to take positives from the game, but I think we could have come out, since a red card, since about half time, we could have come out. Unless we're going to get one. I'm literally staring at the clock. Nope. That's it. Spurs hold on. Despite our peppering of the goal. Ten shots. Are they going to get another goal? No, they're not. That's GG. I mean, I can't really be negative. We just lost 2-1 to Spurs. Um, I mean, we didn't get outplayed at all. That's what I'm going to tell I'm gonna tell them. We're unlucky. Yeah, yeah. I'll um, hand the rest of assistant. And yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching the first episode of the channel and the first episode. I'm going to do this press conference. I'm going to end the video. Roof on the air is vital. I felt we were good. Um, it's always disappointing to lose. Yeah. Roof on the was unfortunate casualty. I mean, I'm disgusted. I'm just saying, I don't really care about the media, but... What would you do to change the situation? Do you think there's a bit of a... That's not really for me to say. Do you gonna... 
you have great mutual respect. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do for today's Exeter. I mean, today's Exeter. Nice one. Uh, today, today's video, guys. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna play this Carol Cup second round. I think I'm gonna come back for and Leicester game. I'm gonna come back for the Man City, Huddersfield, and Burnley game. I think I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna actually put a, a a poll vote in the top right corner. You need to tell me if you want me to do all three, or do you want me to just do the Man City and Huddersfield. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Make sure you hit a like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.